This seems like possibly the most unsafe thing to do in the game. Like, I'm holding a couch as I'm flying down a dirt road. What could possibly go wrong? Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of My Summer Car, and today we are ready to drag race. Now, I recently just purchased these racing tires, which I'm assuming these are for drag racing. I mean, what else are they for? So we're going to install those, head over to the airstrip, and do a little bit of racing. There's also a couple things over there that I want to check out, because I've never actually been to that area. <laughs> now, obviously, our car. Our car is in uh, really bad shape right now, at least body-wise. Uh, internally, our car is in pretty decent shape. Our body is screwed up though, so we need to clean some of this up. Uh, we died for the first time the other day, and I know why now. Uh, obviously, you know, what is the good of a five-point harness if you don't buckle it before you do the rally? And <laughs> that's kind of what happened, but other than that, the car is in decent shape, I would say. Alright, let's uh, carefully lift this car. You know, I'm not even worried about body damage anymore. Obviously, uh, we've already got plenty of that. The uh, red turd has seen better days. Uh, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I think we're going to need a spanner size 12, or it's a 13, one or the other. Uh, let's go ahead and see what these new wheels look like. And, you know, it's bad because the wheels are going to look really sweet, but then they're on the, uh, the car that they're on, and it's like, eh, I don't really understand this. Uh, so between this, replacing the wheels, uh, we're going to do a little bit of adjusting on the carburetor because I don't think I'm running at, like, max power. And Whoa! Okay, calm down. Alright, so, you know what? I like these wheels. We're going to actually use these probably again. Uh, but let's see. You know, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about with these wheels is trying to get to the track because these are slicks. And obviously, we've got to do a little bit of off-roading to get back on. Come on. There we go. Oh, those actually look pretty sweet. I like the chrome on them. Let's see. So yeah, we're going to screw these in, and then we'll uh, go up, we'll do some adjusting on the carburetor, and we'll try to get it running in tip-top shape, and then we'll head over to the airstrip. Alright, we are ready to go here. We've got the sick new racing wheels. You know, one good thing about not having a windshield is being able to load the car by just chunking stuff through the front here. So we've got that. Let's see, i got my tools in there, just in case I might need those. Uh, I talked about carburetor tuning. I'm not even... I don't even know what I'm talking about. i got the twin carburetors on there right now. I'm not even sure... I think you can tune those. Uh, we'll see how they. We'll see how this runs real quick. I don't know. It's been a while, and I'm kind of worried ever since the crash that something was damaged. But let's see. Still cranks. Still sounds as mean as ever. Uh, let's see the choke. I think I'm actually supposed to pull this out for a little bit and let it run. Uh, listen to that. Now, uh, also watch this. Make sure everybody sees this. Uh, this is what I forgot to do last episode. There we go. Buckle up for safety. So, all right, we are ready to pull out here. Reverse this. Ooh, sounding pretty mean, actually. Either that or it's damaged, one or the other. Okay, Let's see, neutral, first gear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna actually make a pretty decent time here. Let's see, what's going on? Here we go. Now, that gauge there, I gotta get it into the green, so we're gonna let it run a little bit, and then I'll adjust the choke a little bit. No, this thing dropped. Oh. Oh, no. There is not any grip here with these racing tires. I can feel the tires. They're just spinning. Alright, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. Luckily, the air strip isn't too far away, at least I don't think it is. Uh, there's an intersection before you hop onto the highway, and I think you're supposed to, like, take a left. And I believe it's down there somewhere. So you got the drag strip down there. I believe the uh, there's a landfill or something also down there. So we'll kind of explore around a little bit and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. So I think I have this right. Here's the little intersection here. And I think we're supposed to go this way? I believe. All right, here we go. So, oh, is that it right there? Well, that wasn't too bad. That was just right around the corner, really. Uh, town's that way. So, let's see, what are we dealing with here? This looks like an airfield. Uh, supposedly there's a landfill around here somewhere. Uh, is this a street? No, I guess we're just gonna cut across here. Uh, oh, well, that looks like a drag strip right there, so that's that. What else do we have over here? This looks like the end of the drag strip, actually. Uh, that looks like a huge rock, so nice to know that's there. Let's see. Huh, this is actually a really wide open area. I gotta make sure the car is running in tip-top shape. 
does seem pretty fast, so uh, everything seems to be right with it. Uh, it, yeah, it sounds a little off, but not too bad. Let's see. Oh, oh, there's the landfill. Okay, so now we know that's over there. You know, there's like a porta potty or something over there too. That might be a wise option to save at. Hmm. Let's see. Now, I so happen to know that there's an item around here that would really, really suit the house. It seems like everybody else has found it, and I'm probably... Oh, there it is! I should probably stay on the road here. Oh, there's the porta potty too! So, yeah, we're gonna stop at the porta crapper right here. Uh, save this. Just in case we kill ourselves, because, you know, that's always a good option. Uh, let's see. How do we get out of the... Oh. That's right. You know, buckle up for safety. I keep forgetting about that. Alright, so here is the wonderful, glorious couch, and problem is with the couch is, huh, it probably doesn't fit in the car, does it? I've seen several different methods of, you know, trying to haul the couch around. Uh, you know, one thing that might work, and we'll try that here in a second, since I don't have a front windshield, what's keeping me from shoving it in the windshield and hoping that it holds up that way? Hopefully. I don't know. Now we know where that is, let me go ahead and save here, and then we are going to probably go run the drag strip before it rains because it's getting a little bit dark out here. Alright, uh, let's check in with this guy. I don't think I have to sign anything here, no waivers or anything. Uh, let's see, drag race, time slip. Obviously I've done nothing. Left, right. You know, I wonder if they're going to add AI, or you know, we have that yellow car that drives around town like a maniac. You know what, I gotta pee. So I'd like to actually go against him. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a thing in here in the future, at least, hopefully. Uh, come on. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get in the car. All right, so let's go ahead. Buckle back up. That's, that's the most important thing here. Okay. Give it a... <laughs> oh, I hate not using the G27. There we go. I'm still sprinkling. Stop it. Stop peeing. All right, here we go. Let's go, uh... Let's see, where's the actual start of the drag strip? I think it's down here, so let's head down this way. And we'll see if we can get a clean run in here. Uh, yeah, the tree's down here. Okay. This is a little bumpy. I kind of almost fear for my uh, safety here. Let's see. Okay, here's the drag strip. And obviously we're going the wrong way, so let's just rip the e-brake. There we go. You know, I've always wanted to do that. That was actually fairly entertaining. Great. I'm going to get used to doing that. Okay, so... Let's uh, idle here for a second. Uh, can I get down in a lower gear? Let's get down in the neutral here, see if we can just kind of get it going here, get it heated up. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't know how to use the uh, choke here. I have no clue what I'm doing when I actually adjust that. I'm assuming it's like a lawnmower when you choke it. Actually, you know what, that gauge is adjusting a little bit. Uh, can we go in a little, little bit more? Maybe a little... No, okay, let's go in. Oh boy, I'm actually nervous for this, and the only thing I'm going to be doing is driving in a straight line, so let's, let's remember my bearings. Okay, so first gear, all right. Let's ease up here. Looks like our staging box is right there. Uh, let's see. I hope I don't kill it. You know, I really should map the clutch here because I'm going to need to dump it. All right, here we go. We are ready to go. Got the clutch engaged. Uh, okay, we might need to go up just a hair more. Let's get into first gear. Come on. Don't die. Don't die. No! Ah! Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, so obviously we red light it right there. All right, let's back up. This would be so much easier using the wheel. All right, we're getting ready to go here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, boy. All right, I am now using an Xbox One remote. Let's see if we can get a clean run in here. Uh, come on, come on, buddy. I don't know how big this track is. I'm assuming it's a quarter mile. There we go. Uh, this is probably going to be kind of slow. Uh, let's see. Have we finished? Where, where's, this, where's the end? Come on. Speed. 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 Where's the finish? Speed. Did we already cross it? Uh, oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> uh, apparently, we already passed it. Okay, let's go uh, see our time here. I'm pretty sure that wasn't very good. It's kind of hard to not kill the car. I'm not like a some sort of car expert, so I'm trying to keep it from dying on the line. The... Uh, First gear, it loves to just die as soon as you let it idle below a certain amount. And I know choking it does help, but I do not quite have that down yet. So let's go ahead. Let's just whip it around here. All right, let's go check our time out real quick. Pretty sure it's fairly embarrassing. So let's see. What do we have here, buddy? Uh, okay. Well, the right side obviously was red. Let's see. 
uh, is this in seconds? I'm assuming this is in seconds. So 18 seconds. <laughs> uh, that's probably not very good. Uh, we got 123 kilometers per hour. That was at the, or that was at the quarter mile. So that's the thousand mark. That's uh, 660. Okay. Yeah. My reaction time was like almost half a second. Well, obviously we know uh, drag racing isn't our strong suit, but I don't know. It felt good to do that anyways. Those tires are really tricky uh, other than the road here, but it feels like it's got decent acceleration. It probably needs a little bit more tuning. Like I said, not a car expert here, but I don't know. I think that deserves a beer. And let's go uh, back to the landfill and see if we can find a way to load this couch up. This is going to be really hard to do, but really? That made a dent in my door? I guess it doesn't matter anyways. All right, let's chunk that over. Let's uh, head back over to the landfill. Come on, you piece of crap. <laughs> Oh, these, uh, these race tires, they're coming off. Uh, let's see. There's the port of crapper I wonder if there's anything else here in the landfill. I don't think there is. I think this is pretty much the go-to item to collect. So, we're gonna collect the couch. Now, question is, how do we attach said couch to car? I've seen different methods. Uh, most times people actually bring some sort of vehicle that can actually, you know, carry it. But, uh, that's not for me. So, unbuckle our harness. See, I'm remembering to do that. That's, uh, very good. Oh. Oh, that sounds terrible. All right, so, uh, let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's try this. There's, like, enough room here. I feel like if maybe we could lodge it into the passenger seat, it would stay. I think. Come on. <laughs> see, even the couch is like, no, don't take me, please. See? Look at that. All right, okay. You move over here. Okay, let's go ahead. Open up this. And come on, Mr. Couch. All right. I don't know who really goes to dumps to get sofas, but... I don't know, it seems like it might be an okay thing. And what? Where, where'd the couch? <laughs> oh, come on, really? jeez. Uh, okay, well, this is getting shoved back into here. There we go. You know what, it kind of opened up the trunk here, so maybe we can shove it back there. Uh, will this work? Uh, no. <gasps> hey, look at that. D is it stuck? Please be stuck. Please be stuck. I think it's just sitting on top of the car. Let's see if this is possible. Oh, yeah. No, this is good. This is... No, we got this. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab another beer here. Let's go ahead and close that. Crank up the car. You know, if we cruise, home isn't that far away. If we cruise kind of slow, I think we can make it. Come on. All right. Let's do this. Um, here, first. <gasps> Look at that. It's staying. All right. I, I got to keep looking over to the right. Uh, make sure it's staying on there. Now, how do I get out of this place? Let's see, the airfield is over here. Is that the road right there? I think it is. What do I remember seeing about this area? Okay, that looks like it loops us around, so obviously that's a no. There's a dirt road there, but my sense of... Oh, crap. We lost the couch. All right, I've got another plan here. This plan might actually work. I thought about this one for, like, two minutes, so... Uh, let's see. Let's pop that open. And in theory, we could set you about right there. Uh, you know, I really can't see, but that's not really what's important. What's important is that this couch finds a loving home. Yeah, that'll totally work. Uh, I can just hang my head out the window and steer. All right, let's go ahead. Enter driving mode here. Let's crank this bad boy up. There we go. This will totally work. Totally work. All right. First gear. Uh, first gear. Where are we going? Why can't I hold my head out the left side? Do I need to hold the door open? Can I do it now? Okay, well that button's broken. Uh, you know, this might actually work. Um, I can't really see, but if I can just find the dirt road, I think we'll be okay here. Uh, was that it? That looks like the road out of here. Okay. I think we are, we're not saved, or we're not safe. Uh, <laughs> where are the trees at? Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we're on a road. Now, I'm looking for a dirt road. We crossed a road, so I'm assuming we crossed this road. There should be a dirt road to the right somewhere around here. Uh, this seems very unsafe. Um, we're gonna go with that. But like I said, home isn't that far away. I just gotta get on the right road here. I hope there's no cars on this road, because if there is... I am screwed. Oh, there we go. Okay. Take a right right here. Okay. Technically, we are on the road home. Okay. 
Okay guys, this isn't gonna work. I've got a better solution. <laughs> I figured out something even worse than the uh, first one. Now check this out. All right, well, as soon as the door will open. Come on, door. Come on, do we break the door, really? Okay guys, I was completely wrong about that. That doesn't work, and also my right side door is now busted for some reason. Close, there we go. I got a better plan. This plan is actually gonna work. Okay, so I can grab stuff through the window, right? Right, so what we're gonna do here, uh, let's put this maybe in this position. There we go. Nope, not like that. There we go. All right, so we've got the couch, correct? Right, just keep following, guys. I promise, I know what I'm doing here. Okay, we are in driving state. Buckle up, crank her up. There we go, give it some gas. Now check that out. I'm holding the couch. So I can now somewhat see the road. So this isn't quite as dangerous as it once was. All right, so let's get going here. Look at my rear view. Look like we're clear there. This might actually work, and this is really awkward to drive. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure this is any safer than the last thing we just did. But, I don't know, we're gonna putt home. Uh, we're gonna make it though. We're gonna take the dang couch home. This seems like possibly the most unsafe thing to do in the game. Like, I'm holding a couch as I'm flying down a dirt road. What could possibly go wrong? Boy, oh boy, I have no clue how this remotely even came close to working, but yes, we've made it home with the car and the couch. And plus we were able to drag race, which is absolutely nutty, but yeah, let's go check this bad boy out. Oh, look at it, it's an absolute beauty. I'm gonna be the envy of all the neighbors, so let's just go ahead and chunk that there. I will find a good spot for that, but obviously, oh, I ran over the tire. Yeah, I don't know how that even worked, but I don't know, this game's really goofy, there's ways to trick it, so obviously I've gotta put a couple parts back on the car, but I think that deserves a couple beers. Anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. We've accomplished quite a bit today. We, whoa, don't pee on the couch. Come on, that's kind of rude. So yeah, we've, uh, obviously we got a drag racer now, which probably is, I'm gonna put those tires back on it because they handle awful on the off-road portions. So yeah, we're gonna do that. But yeah, we did that, did a drag race, and got the couch. So anyways, folks, if you have any uh, suggestions for things you'd like to see in Summer Car next, comment below. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time on My Summer Car. Thank you.